What's up guys, Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. We have this piecewise function here and we have to take this piecewise function, sketch it, and then we have to find the limit as x approaches two of it. Now, because this piecewise function has three pieces to it, I split this up into three parts and I'm gonna make three tables of values. So starting off with this one, when x is less than two, we know that the function is defined by what? Negative x plus one squared plus seven. So what you wanna do is you wanna take an x value of two and you wanna pick some x values that are less than two. So let's say one, zero, and then negative one. So plugging in two here, two plus one is three, squared is nine, times negative one is negative nine, plus seven gives us negative two. And then one plus one squared, is four, negative four plus seven gives us positive three, zero, one, negative, that would give us six, and then this would just be seven. If I'm not mistaken, let me see. Yeah, it's all good. So this is the table of values for this piece here, and notice that this is x is less than two. It's not x is less than or equal to two, so we know that this y value is going to be a whole, right? So we're done with that piece. Now for this middle piece, the x values, the function is defined by x over two minus six. So, and this is for x values between two and six. So two, three, four, five, six. So x over two, two over two is one, minus six gives us negative five. Three over two is 1.5, minus six gives us negative 4.5. Four over two is uh, two, minus six gives us negative four. Five over two, 2.5, minus six gives us negative 3.5. And then six over two is three, minus six gives us negative three. And notice that for the x value of six, it's not defined, so this here is a whole as well. And then this y value of negative five, it is defined there because it's x is greater than or equal to two. But this less than six, it's not equal to six, so that y value is gonna be a whole. And then for this graph, super simple, when x is greater than or equal to six, all of the y values are basically negative four. Right, so it's just a horizontal line. So for x values six, seven, eight, et cetera, et cetera, all the way to infinity, y values are all gonna be negative four. So now let's just take these table of values and graph them here. So let's start off with this one. So let's start off with the x value that is furthest to, this, uh, to the left. So this negative one, we got negative one and seven, which would be up here. Then we got zero and six, which is there. One and three, one and three is where? Um, that's gonna be here. And then um, two and negative two is down here. So if we combine these points here, it's gonna look something like this. Now we mentioned that this point here, this y value of negative two, that's gonna be a whole. So that's gonna look like that. And this is just basically a quadratic, a parabola that opens down. Notice that it's in vertex form. Then the vertex is at negative one and seven. So it's basically ending at that vertex. But if we kept drawing it, it would just basically look something like that. Right, moving on to this here. So we got two and negative five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's down here. And then we got three and uh, negative 4.5. So that would be like here. This is just gonna be a line, right? X over two, we can rewrite this as, um, instead of X over two, this is just gonna be like one half X. So notice how all of the Y values are going up by a half. So let's just draw the ending of this line, which is gonna be at um, six and negative three. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then negative three will be somewhere like down here. So it's gonna be just a line like this. Right, if we take all these points, plot them, it'll just be along this line. And then this six and negative three, this is a hole there, because it's not defined. And then for all of the x values, 6 to positive infinity, we know that the y values are just going to be negative 4. So negative 4 is down here. And that's just going to be a horizontal line like that. Right? So this piecewise function looks something like this. We have a parabola, then we have a line, then we have a horizontal line. And now that we have the sketch of the function, we can solve what the limit as x approaches 2 for this function is. Well, notice as we approach this x value of 2 here, from the left side, it's approaching a different y value than when we approach it from the right side. So right away, just from the sketch, we can show that the limit does not exist. But if we are to prove it by writing some stuff down, we'd say that the limit of f of x as we approach 2 from the negative side, well, what's that going to equal? Well, as we approach 2 from the negative side, we know that this y value here is going to be negative 2. Let me just double check that. So yeah, it's going to be negative 2. And then the limit as x approaches 2 from the positive side, as we approach 2 from the positive side, the, um, the y value is going to be negative 5. So because we are approaching different y values from both sides, then we know the limit as x approaches 2 of the function does not exist.